Alright, welcome back to Moab 101, an introduction to Moabs. Uh, my name is Andrew, and this is the fourth episode of the series. Uh, this is not just a regular Moab, but it is a Proab, as a buddy of mine uh, got a Moab in this game as well. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. As far as this series is concerned, it might be going on a little hiatus for a little while as I reevaluate how this series uh, is conducted as it has not necessarily gone as I originally envisioned. So I will be retooling it and just getting back to uh, just doing some live commentating that I had originally planned on doing. Um, I'm also going to be uh, uh, planning a series with a buddy of mine. It'll be a dual com, a live com. So um, that'll be uh, launching soon. As far as the upload schedule is concerned, uh, I'm trying to get to where I upload every day. Um, hopefully, that'll start on Monday. Um, it'll be you know every single day of the week. I might take a break on Sundays or something like that. Um, particularly since the NFL is starting up again, and I am a big football fan. So, um, I'll reevaluate and give details later. Uh, you can also check out my Twitter account, and I will try and post an update on that. So, be sure to follow me at Console HD, and you'll stay apprised to the comings and goings of the channel, and it will also be a way for you to get in contact with me. Alright, moving on to talking about the gameplay in this episode. Um, essentially, you have two main options when playing uh, hardcore. You can either run support or specialist. Um, some people do run assault, although I would want to warn you when running assault, do not use a non-AI controlled kill streak and non-explosive kill streak in that um, you know you mainly want to use a helicopter or a sentry gun or something like that because if it's an explosion if it's uh, user controlled you know you might end up hitting one of your teammates and you're gonna lose your streak uh, that goes the same for the uh, stealth bomber in uh, the support strike package, so you want to stick with either running you know, UAV, ballistic fast, SAM turret, EMP, something along that nature, so that uh, you can you know, still get what you need, but not um, kill yourself in the process. I'm on, you know, I run specialist. I'm running it here with the CM901, and you know it enables me to pick up the Moab right here, so. Uh, you know, I call it in because it's hardcore, and I'm so excited to get one in hardcore. Um, but yeah, if you if you're playing a clan up or something, you, know, you definitely want to be running uh, a similar class to my buddy, who's right here is running. Um, he's running a UAV ballistic vest and only UAV ballistic vest. Um, one of the things that I think is important in hardcore is a lot of people tend to just corner camp, and nothing annoys me more in uh, not only Call of Duty but in video games in general it's people who just sit back and corner camp. Um, if you notice in my video, uh, portion of the video, uh, you know, I was still running around staying aggressive, not um, corner camping. I was trying to stay in the spawn, try and harass them uh, when they spawn. And, uh, you know, my buddy definitely takes a similar approach as he, you know, he tries to stay aggressive and attack the enemy without, um, without, uh, you know, setting up in a, a little corner as people in hardcore tend to do. So, you know, if you're going to be playing one of these hardcore clan ops that they have on Elite, you know, what I want you to do is, you know, don't sit in the corner and be that douchebag in the corner with the M16 or Type 95, MK14. Um, if you do that, you're being a douchebag. You know you're being a douchebag. 
stop doing that. <laughs> um, you know, a pro tip right here is that I learned from my buddy here is in hardcore is uh, you know you don't have to spray. I see a lot of people spraying in uh, in hardcore. You know, it only takes one to two bullets to get that kill in this game mode. So you know, conserve your ammo and uh, you know play strategically. You know, fire only when necessary. Uh, that's a big tip um, that can really help you uh, in Call of Duty or any uh, first-person multiplayer game. Is only engage when you know you can get that kill. If if he's at a distance and he's about to turn that corner, are you really gonna get kill him before he makes it to that corner, or are you just telling him where you are at? And if you go chase, you know you're probably gonna end up dead. So uh, also, you know, don't chase. Um, uh, that's just going to lead to you getting killed. Uh, I know my buddy's starting to get close to his more. Everything is about eight kills away right now. Um, so wrap this up. You know, just you know, focus on the game. Listen to the game. That's another point. In hardcore, it's more important to listen because you don't have your hut, and the mini map's only there if uh, you know someone calls in a UAV. But if ever everyone is running assassin on the other team. That uh, UAV is just really there for for uh, psychological reasons. <laughs> it's not really going to help you out. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the series, as I said, may may uh, go on hiatus for a little while as I retool it. But I have a new commentary coming out, uh, hopefully today, actually, uh, with this video, and it's about the state of YouTube. Um, a lot of people were talking to me about, you know, YG sort of YouTube channel, um, or they themselves were wondering, should I sort of YouTube channel? And so I'm just going to go over, you know, essentially the the pros and cons of of um, of YouTube and getting involved in YouTube. So uh, that'll be pretty interesting. Um, make sure you you subscribe uh, if you want to see more content. If you want to see the live commentated stuff. Uh, be sure to leave a rating. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. If there's an area I can improve on. And uh, I think my buddy is one kill away right now. So, um, yeah, follow me on. Not two kills away. Follow me on, um, on uh, Twitter. Uh, you know, like me on Facebook, all that jazz that everybody says. But, uh, you know, definitely subscribe and uh, give me some feedback on how I'm doing. And, what I can improve on, and uh, let's uh, let's make this a fun ride. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, see you next time. Don't quit when there's uh, a uh, two more of us dropped on you. Don't don't be that guy that uh, rage crits and forces a horse migration. So see ya.